Alright. All right, at Simonson I got nine gallons. All right, I'm parked over in the scenic area. Got my drone coming over here. Sell a cow by a tube gate. All right. What the heck? So, what a... Okay, and then, oh, that's two-handed. Never seen that system like this. So that's really tricky. Oh, it's so hard to walk. I ran across that road and it was very risky. So yeah, I think I'd like to fly the drone down in here. Just need a, I'd like to get up on that, that ledge. Doesn't look like the road wants to go that way. I see there's uh, some echinacea. There's plenty. Oh wait, that's not. I was gonna say there's plenty of wormwood, but that's not sagebrush. Okay, there's plenty of echinacea right here though. Weed this out. It's a little dusty from people driving by. Yeah, you can weed the, oops, did I just disturb something? Maybe take the best looking one. All right, a little further down along the highway. I think I'm gonna start in on the grassland. I'm seeing a lot of echinacea this way. How are the wood ticks? A little concerned about wood ticks. But this echinacea, I need to uh, be able to dig, dig it out. It's definitely doing better in the more northern part of, of North Dakota. And there's also signs of desert plants as well. Midwest and desert vegetation working well together. When you see desert plants, that gives me a little relief. Yeah, the road doesn't go where I want it to. The desert plants tell me that there's probably going to be fewer ticks. See, this is... This is a pretty one. I would want to dig this and take those roots. Because I taste the flower petals, I taste the leaves, and they don't have that same taste as the roots that I would buy. All right, just make a note of a patch of purple plants. I think these are blueberries. These would be blueberries. Amongst the blueberries, so these have flowered before it. And I don't know what this is. It looks interesting. Bert, I think. I kind of like the smell of the leaf. I don't know if I if it's safe to consume. I can't identify. I think like bergamot or something, but I'm not familiar with it. Here's one of the shiniest bugs I've ever seen in North Dakota. I don't think it'll let me get the camera up close to it. Huh. Man, maybe I should have taken the container for gathering herbs instead of... Oh, somebody's parking behind me. I think I could keep an eye on them way over here, but... If they did anything, I wouldn't make it back in time. If they did anything to my car, <laughs> they'd probably see me over here. But I probably won't be able to see my car then where I want to go. I think I'm getting to the end of the, the, this ridge for like a launch point and I hope I don't get restricted to 150 feet. Because <clears throat> then I might want to try to get down into this canyon 
uh, for another chance at, yeah, now I'm starting to see poop. I didn't see it the whole walk until up to this point. I'd have to relocate for a better chance at, at uh, uh, a longer distance. I don't even know if I got the battery. Oh, there's a peak I like. Uh, I don't even know if I have the battery life. I just realized I didn't check. There's a lot of honeybee buzzing, but they shouldn't be in attack mode. I don't believe there's any hive nearby. They're just very active right here. All right, so this is a peak I liked. I think it's, I mean, it's a good sitting point for taking off, but I don't see any, any great, well, it's pretty flat and, a, and the soil is kind of caked, whatever this flat soil is, but it gets on my pants. Oh yeah, it's chalky, chalky, nice hard soil. It'd make a good launch point.
I did not quite notice this while flying. I would have flown closer to this, got a different angle. It almost looks like oil leaking out of a crack, but there's not a pool. All right, this is a unique flower, unique plant I'm not familiar with, kind of a grayish leaf, a grayish in certain angles. The sun hits it in certain ways to make it look grayish, but it's green. All right, so this, this flower, I don't want to pick it. Maybe I can pose with it. This looks like the kind of flower that you would wear, you'd wear on your side like that. I think it'd look kind of neat like that. All right, these are very spiky and you can get poked pretty good. But if you squeeze it, following the grain, and it feels like there's some kind of stickiness, maybe a nectar. And it has kind of a pleasant smell on my fingers. I think it's producing some kind of a nectar. So boiling the seed, boiling the flower head might be of benefits just a flower head and you can see i picked kind of a lifeless one i think they all don't do so well